So geopolymer concrete has been already tried and tested in a wide range of applications, including major infrastructure projects and multi-story buildings. So geopolymer concrete actually hardens in the same time as traditional concrete and provides equivalent durability and strength. So some of the case studies we might briefly look at is, first of all, here is a 20-story residential geopolymer concrete building in Russia. This was built in 1987 to 1989. And again, here's a nine-story geopolymer residential building in Ukraine, built in 1960. And a bit closer to home here, this is a four-story high building for general public use, which comprises of three suspended geopolymer concrete floors, including or involving 33 precast panels. So these are made by a slag and fly ash based geopolymer concrete, also known as earth-friendly concrete. So this is a, a Wagner's brand name for their commercial form of geopolymer concrete. So there are some huge opportunities to use geopolymers, but the, the most likely or the easiest to use is in precast elements. So this can be made at a factory and a lot of the risk of on-site or, or a lot of the, the new kind of construction methods that might have been required or any uncertainty is removed by making elements inside a factory. So virtually all precast elements can hypothetically be geopolymer. There's also a huge opportunity for non-structural elements. So this could be things like pavings in a project. And one of the big advantages it has over normal Portland cement is how it performs in hostile environments. So, so in places like chemical tanks, marine harbors, sewers, or foundations in acidic or high chloride soils, it is most also most suitable for. And in some forms of geopolymer, there is also a much greater fire resistance and has been tested already to be double that of traditional concrete. 